Hello, happy peoples. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. It is Easter. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Oh my goodness. It is a glorious day for it. Listen, listen to all that. I know we talk about it, guys. I know we talk about it a lot, about the melting of the snow, but it's a big deal. When you've lived in this torrential winter wonderland for as long as we have, you're like, oh my goodness, look at this. Can you see that? <laughs> ginormous, ginormous icicle. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We have had a wonderful day so far. Besides it being glorious outside, um, we are actually able to go to church this morning, which was always wonderful. To the church that me and Bert met at this morning, which was kind of crazy. It doesn't look like anything the same, but some of the same people are still there. And it was just, I don't know, it's always good to catch up with, with friends, with people that you haven't seen in a while. So that was stinking cool. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get ready to have the whole family over for Easter to kind of gather, catch up. Um, I know Bert's mom has been traveling a bunch, so we haven't seen her um, for a while. So it'll be just good to sit down, relax, and enjoy a meal. Hey, so what do you guys do for your Easter? Do you guys have any traditions? You know, we love always hearing about your guys' traditions because some of them are like amazing and it's like, oh wow, that's a really awesome tradition. Do you get together with family? Do you get together with friends? You do. Do you just relax and enjoy the weekend? Let me know, comments below. What do you guys do for Easter? Bert and I were talking the other night um, a little bit about, you know, a lot of times why you go to church or why you go to God or whatnot is a lot of times in like your struggle times. You know, you're going through a hard time and you you need him in that in that um, time period of your life. And uh, I know Bert was going to want to share a little bit of that with you guys and just kind of like a perspective that's just kind of been on his heart, I guess is how you'd say it. So we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, we're going to finish up inside, get all the things laid out, and then hopefully have a good, awesome Easter dinner. Should be a good time. Let's go. Activities are done, things are cleaned up, people have left, bellies are full. Matter of fact, they're probably hungry again because it's been so long. I don't long, know. But I think everyone ate quite quite a fair amount. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, it was awesome. Cream cheese corn was on par this year. It was like that sweeter corn. Cream cheese corn. 16 ounce bag of, cream cheese, of corn. One stick of butter, one stick of cream cheese and increase depending on how much you need. Yeah, play with it a little one bit. One to one. A little bit I know of a lot of people ask. It's true. Crock pot. High, four hours. It's really, you just, until it's done. Until it's done. Whatever that means. It starts bubbling. You can always start on the stove top as too. you go. It's pretty awesome. We went to church, the church that we actually met at. Mm -hmm. Wasn't like that when we met. No, it wasn't. No. But it's We were actually you know, a part of the process of being able to get that church built. Right. The yep. church building that's there right now, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, actually, did a lot of the wiring, a lot of the even set trusses, a lot of memories. Like Lots it goes way back. It is Easter, and it's always when you have like Easter or you have maybe Christmas. You know, a lot of these holidays, it kind of is like a brief reminder. Oh yeah, you know, you think about Jesus, and then it's like I'm, a reflection I, time. Reflection, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking like, okay, so what? What are other times? You know, and I could play the Christian card. They're like, oh yeah, we're, we always think about Jesus all the time. Just being real, life gets busy mm -hmm. and things just happen, right? I was thinking in church, you know, what are the times where, uh, where I feel that I need God the most? And usually that's at your lower points, mm -hmm. right? At the, the times when you're, you know, you're shooting that flare up because you just, you Shuffling. don't know how to, mm -hmm. you know, like trying to figure out like what, what matters and how do I fit and where where does this all work? Questions you guys have actually asked us is in previous Q and A's is about our testimonies. Mm -hmm. So some testimonies that will give you goosebumps. We were both raised in Christian homes. For those of you guys that don't know, and you know we both struggle for the most part of different you know you know it's it's your parents' God is it your God? 
you know, working through your salvation, all that kind of stuff. We're born, we're born in this world. We didn't ask to be born. And we're just trying to figure out meaning and life and, you know, why, you know, why are we here? What's your reason? What's your purpose? We go through that at different levels mm -hmm. and at different... All different stages. Uh, different stages. You actually start to care a little bit more about those things, those things that are... Because life gets... I feel like life has gotten increasingly just harder. Just everything gets harder. The weight, the impact on everything, the more responsibility. You're more aware of things that is are this, going is this on. Is as in the you world? get older, you feel? I feel. Yeah. Yeah. Did I care what was going on in the country when I was? I guess not. 14 years old. Yeah. You're like cool. I got yeah, a driver's yeah, permit. Yeah. Driver's yeah. Permit. Keep in mind too, when you guys are watching our videos, you're seeing the edited version of ourselves. You know, you're seeing the edited highlights of our day. We all have struggles, right? We have struggles too. You know, we share some. But even in our past, we've had things that have been pretty weighty. We've had some issues in the past. Things, you know, things that we've struggled with, you know, rebelling against parents, boy trouble, boy problems. What? What do you, nothing. Um, when we were, when we were married, you know, understanding the melding of a relationship, I would say that there were mm. struggles there early on in our marriage, you know. Boundaries. Was, yeah, and just like learning your not, it's like a role, like different roles that you guys play. When I was pregnant, I had a really, really hard go when I was pregnant. Um, just not being able to function. Uh, my family was going through, each kid that we added, it just got that much worse um, with a condition called HG. Two years ago, you know, I had a cancer diagnosis and I had to walk down that. The anxiety that came from that was just crazy amounts. So those are just like, Ones that are off the top of my brain where it's just like, I cannot do this on my own. I cannot function on my own. Please help me. Very low point or things that I notice or that I just, I don't know, you feel just like defeated. You just feel like defeated and you can't do it on your own. As I would turn and I'd, and I'd pray a lot more. I'd be in my Bible a lot more. I'd be focusing. And isn't that the way that it always is like, okay, for me, for me. Now others are much more diligent. They're doing, for me, it's like, okay, you're not paying attention. Here you go. This is what, this is what I'm gonna do, so pay attention. A lot of times that would happen and, and that would lead me back to be able to be focused mm -hmm. and more, you know, in tuned or on, on my face, on my face. <laughs> Yeah, well said. You know, like Evelyn, remember when she was born, she had a mm -hmm. hole in her lung, mm -hmm. right? So it's like, when you, sometimes when you have these things, you you don't know what to do. Like, you, what yeah, do you, you do? literally don't know what to do. You, you, it's out of your control. You feel completely helpless. Mm -hmm. Like these are just a few of the little points. And of course, uh, your cancer stuff was scary. Yeah. That was beyond scary. And then trying to just think about like what would happen, right? So if something had happened to you, what happens with me? What happens with the kids? How does our family, how do we make all this work? It's literally out of your your control. For me at least, at all these points, these are all times where I'm shooting at the flare prayer and all of a sudden, you know, God starts coming into extra focus, <laughs> at least for me. But right now, things are like today, I guess we're healthy, right? Today, we had food on the table mm -hmm. and today there's a lot to be grateful for. Like the inverse of that, right, on all these low points is actually having a perspective of looking at things, you know, what is working right? Where are my blessings? What what do I have to be grateful for? Um, it, that kind of puts that into focus and perspective too. That it could always be way worse. Right. Yeah. And realizing that we all deal with hard times where we are at one point in our life and we all sometimes need a little help, need a little encouragement, need a little prayer. Need good people to kind of come around and maybe just remember that uh, that God's out there and He cares. I don't know if any of that made sense, but for some reason, felt what we should talk about uh, some of these things, some of the struggles, and some of the things that uh, that I just remember that popped into my brain as uh, things serious enough to get my attention. Um, if there's any struggles that you guys are having right now and you're comfortable sharing down below, please do because. We'd love to pray for you. There's actually a lot of people on this channel that would love to pray for you. Thank you guys so much for coming along with us to our Easter celebration. I know it was not a whole lot, but we had fun. It was a good time with family, relaxing, made some good memories, good time. So we hope you guys had a good one as well, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye. YouTube channel.